What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to The Playbook. Today, we are talking about long shots, and this is completely overpowered. Some would say broken. If you want outside of the box in your life, this will get you right. If it helps you out, if you appreciate the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're pretty much brand spanking new and feed that algo. Get in the comment section, drop a like, drop some love. Anytime you're learning something new or you want additional practice, get in the practice arena, maybe even the skill games or moments, depending on what it is. Take it offline and then work this into your gameplay. We're talking about the Travella. It helps if the player has the Travella play style. Even better if they have a little plus action in there, but you don't need the play style plus in order to gain this animation and really to have that extra oomph but it does make a difference i cannot stress the importance of play styles in fc24 play styles change the way that your players animate and move and it is so obvious you can take someone who's not that quick but with the right dribbling play styles he's zooming side to side reactions are different movement different what you need to know with the Travello, you're holding l2 you can go from long distance i'm talking 25 yards plus with high levels of accuracy and conversion and you want to set up this angle i've got messy so we're using a left footer we're gonna be on the left side of the pitch you want the outside of the boot you can do it from the middle of the pitch and have the same level of effectiveness inside the box outside the box they both work lovely i would recommend either ball rolls even a burber spin this year on a diagonal the body feint step overs can allow you to get that inside angle and then as you're lining it up hold l2 and then you're hitting at least three bars of power if you want that extra animation and once you see it you offload it you unload it you know what's happening you've got the packaging you got the five star review once you can score this consistently in the arena it's time to get it into the actual gameplay online bring it into motion diagonals are what you're looking for keys to success clips for days let's discuss we've got big luke with that five star skill move on a side note we're gonna step into space and this is the best zone to kind of work in if you can get into this zone especially left footed player on the left side remember right footed player on the right side preferably with that travella play style gives you that natural curvature so we're gonna step into the space with the likes of big luke and then something else that's relevant here man the defenders and the midfielders are playing passively there's not a better way to punish someone for not manually controlling their players and some of these long shots and if you understand time finishing and i can make a follow-up tutorial really detailing it it hasn't shifted over the years some of the timing this year is different in regards to finesse shots power shots chip shots and that's something to get used to my rule of thumb if you're learning time finishing focus on one shot type whether it's a normal shot a finesse shot a power shot one shot type lucas steps in something else that i talk about time and time again you see the ball roll I love a ball roll. I, I just feel that it moves the goalkeeper and allows you to realign. You can think about how you want to power it up. It buys you a half second of time while giving you a better angle to work with. Remember, because we're going to go this way. We're going off screen with it. You've stepped through the space and then I can see the goalkeeper. He's not necessarily off his line, but there's a big gap for me to work with, which says, hello, thank you very much. We're going to take advantage and we're going to Travella. And in this case, it's time green, extra emphasis. Keeper never had a chance. Can't stop that. Can't write a better script. Another guideline to live by if you're using a Travella inside the box, I don't think you necessarily need to time in green because there is a big risk. Because if you miss time, any sort of finish this year, it heavily impacts your conversion rate. And inside the box, you got a better margin. We've got more. Odegaard, one of my favorite players this year. Shout out to Odegaard. If you're looking for someone to try out, highly recommend recommended highly regarded so you can score Travella off a sprint which I also feel is very new typically you have to be slowed down a little more controlled you already can tell Odegaard's lined it up you've got a little bit of a different animation but again he has the play style in fact he has seven play styles you're gonna straight line this you're holding L2 you've re-angled your body you can do this from the middle of the pitch I repeat, you can do this from the middle of the pitch. Flies into the back of the net. Goalkeeper doesn't react. You can catch him quickly. I'm happy days. If you're watching it live on the Twitch stream, you're happy days. And it was unexpected. If you want to score with consistency, learn the Travella. If you were wondering, and we can call this the reverse Travella, what happens when you have a player use the opposite side of the foot on the wrong end of the pitch. Can it still score goals? And at this point, it's so overpowered using a Travella. You've seen me look to set it up, but he uses his left foot because it's his dominant foot in this case from the wrong side, the wrong angle. And if you time it green, it still will create a certain trajectory. Goalkeeper gets beat, can't deal with it. I don't think I'm co-signing this or recommending it, but it 
can work for you. And I think that it should be showcased and talked about a little bit just because it's part of the move and the groove and the conversion. What a finish. But it doesn't have the same levels of accuracy, validity, completion rate with success, in my opinion, compared to the traditional Travella from outside the box. But we can watch it back. Bailey cuts inside again left footed because he's leaning towards his dominant foot goalkeeper no chance it's gorgeous easy on the eyes undeniable i mentioned scoring goals inside the box let me show you that odegaard the ball roll that re-angle you can see what's happened here the easy setup you're going to tap at home the goalkeepers in no man's zone and you'd be surprised some of the keepers make some pretty irrational saves you got to line it up right if you want to be consistent with your finishing i will drop a finishing tutorial soon enough i do not time that green i do not go for time finishing i'd like to keep that in the messaging or I like to reiterate that in this video, I wouldn't necessarily, especially if you're not automatic with time finishing, be honest with yourself inside the box. It's not as necessary. Did I mention versatility? So we're going to swing it here. You're going to see big Lucas again. It's already set up for his left peg. And I find myself scoring goals in this position quite often where you still use the outside of the foot, that dominant foot in the majority of the circumstances, and then you get a little extra oomph extra emphasis goalkeepers basically in no man's zone hold l2 adjust your body take advantage of the travella inside the box it doesn't matter if it's up top or if you're going down low if you're going from longer distances be ready to power it up and my takeaway from this year when it comes to power finishing long shooting you need a little more than you normally would take the risk go for the reward if you undersell it the keeper's saving it you're not getting the same animation. And that goes for regular shooting, power shooting, finesse shots, travelas, you name it. Across the board, everything has needed extra cushion. I made a video on free kicks. Same situation, same scenario. One more clip example to send us on our way. Extra pass, Marta. I just wanted to show Marta. Been loving it. Almost a mini Travella action, but again, goalkeeper falls down, you get the finish. You get the idea. The Travella is a simple addition, and we've seen it last year. I actually feel that the animation this year feels more natural. It definitely has a little more organic. It looks more realistic. It's just better. It doesn't feel as broken in terms of the way that it executes or even the speed of the execution. You will want this in your arsenal you want this in the team you'll understand more and more with play styles if you have any questions in regards to how much power the time finishing how to set up the travella different skill moves that work to integrate because that's also important you saw a lot of re-angling there if you don't do it with the extra pass or a little shimmy or a little shake you might need to stir it up a little bit to chef it right and then check the links down below i am setting up the patreon as we speak gonna get all of you locked in and i have a lot more content coming out asap asap